A function is self-contained module of code that performs a specific task. In step 7, we have function blocks, some are system function blocks, while some are user defined. In this video, by an example, I will show you how to create a function block and how to use it. And the function block that we will be creating will have multiple inputs and multiple outputs just to demonstrate how to do it right so i have created a new project in semantic manager i will insert an s7 300 plc station in the hardware configuration i will go for a demo plc the cpu module is 315 2dp there is no need for any networking in this case and I will insert a digital input card of uh, let's say 16 channels each 24 volt and a digital output card the addresses are automatically assigned so i will save the hardware configuration i will open up the simulator because i will be using a simulator to demonstrate in the program section in the blocks i will insert a function block I will name it as an FB1 and I will be creating this function block in the ladder logic. I will double click on the FB1. Over here, I will insert two normal open contacts. This is basic, basically an AND logic right I will keep it very simple so that you can better understand the functionality of a function block that I'm going to create well here are two temporary inputs I will name it as n1 and n2 and I will name the output as out0 and uh, three of these variables are boolean variables right digital in zero sorry i have named it as n1 in two and or zero these two are the inputs that will be passed into the function block from the ob1 from the main function right in the main function i will plug in uh, in a function this function block and i will pass these two input variables to this function from the main ob1 right i will demonstrate similarly I will insert in another network I will add another output The second network is of OR logic, right? Both the inputs that I will be passing into this function block 
will be ended in this network and will be returned through output 0 similarly both function both input blocks sorry both inputs will be all and will be returned through output 1 variable I will save it now I will demonstrate how to pass the input variables to the function blocks and how to get the returned variables into the main ob1 I will cre I have created ob1 and I will be programming ob1 in the later logic as well so over here automatically it will be updated in the category of fb blocks well if you go to the hardware configuration in the plc we have input channels starting from zero and the output channels are being addressed beginning from four so in the ob1 i will be passing 0, 0.0 and 0 0.1 digital input signals to this FB1 and I will be storing the results of both outputs of Q4.0 and Q4.1 since this is a function block you may be aware of the fact that function block has an associated data block right it has an instance memory in which all the parameters of the function block are stored so I will name it as DB1 now a message will be popped up and that is telling me that the instance data block of this function that is the DB1 does not exist do you want to generate yes I want to generate and it will be automatically generated if you go to the semantic manager DB1 if you click on it all the parameters will be updated automatically in the db1 right so now i will save it i will be i will now download the program and the hardware configurations into the simulator and the program has been downloaded I will put the PLC into the run mode and I will first of all monitor the main OB1 now I have both the input signals set to zero so from the simulator I will set high sorry insert input variables zero already inserted I 0.0 now if you look at the output this out 1 has been set uh, while the out 0 is not if you look at the program my user defined program monitor it you can now understand how it works right the input 1 and the input 2 has been odd in the second network and have been ended in the first network since only input 1 is high so output 1 is set to high because it is the result of or operation of both input signals while out 0 is the result of end operation of both signals so when I set only input 1 then I am passing over here I'll getting I'm getting the result one only for Q411 if I go to the hardware configuration 
and I monitor the output signals I will get the result Q4.1 being high because it has been set high by the program now for example if I am setting both input 0, 0.0 and 0 0.1 to high I will get 4.0 high as well because it is the result of end operation cancel it now I have both the input signals high Q4.0 and Q4.1 both are high and in the if I monitor the specific function block you can look at the logic and you will surely get at how it works right so it was a simple demo of uh, how to create a function block with multiple inputs and multiple outputs and uh, how a data block is associated with it now if i go to the data block and i monitor the signals are parameters of this specific function block well you can get the actual values right you can uh, observe that the actual values of both the input 0 and input 1 are high and the results are high as well so this was a simple demo of function block uh, in step 7 if you have any question you can please ask me in the comment section right bye for now